Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, we will discuss questions from the application of conflict management in the private security industry. In this video, we will discuss 20 questions in total. Each question will have four options and one of them is correct. You will have three seconds to guess the correct answer and then I will reveal the answer. But before we begin, I want to let you know that at the end of the video, we will discuss some questions that are taken from real life exams. And I'll start off with some of the most important questions that are commonly asked in the exam. And let's start with our first one. What stance should be adopted when dealing with any conflict situation? So the correct option is the third one. When dealing with any conflict situation, you should always adopt a non-aggressive stance. This helps you keep the situation under control. Next question is, which of the following is a good strategy for solving problems in a conflict situation? So the correct option is the first one. In any conflict situation, especially when there is misunderstanding, the best thing to do is to explain the reasonings for your actions. This is a great strategy to solve the problem and to avoid any misunderstanding. Next question is, which of the following is the most important benefit of using problem solving technique in conflict situation? So the correct option is the third one. The most important benefit of dealing with a conflict situation using a problem solving technique is that you build rapport and you build trust with the common people around you. Because when you're using a problem solving technique, your only goal is to solve the problem and you act unbiased. This will help you build trust with people. Next question is, which of the following can a security operative use to diffuse an emotive conflict situation? So the correct option is the last one. Empathy is something that a security operative can use to diffuse an emotive conflict situation. Because after all, humans are emotional creatures and a lot of times the conflicts are in emotive situations. So using empathy is a great way to deal with them. Next question is, when considering positioning and exit routes, which of these would help in a conflict situation? The correct option is the second one. If you are in a conflict situation and you are considering positioning and exit routes for yourself, the best thing to do is to maintain your personal space and to make sure you don't intrude anyone for any unnecessary reason. Next question is, which of the following describes a win-win situation? So the correct option is the third one. A win-win situation is when both parties are happy at the end of the outcome, which is ideal situation. Next question is, showing respect for others' opinion will assist with which of the following? So the correct option is the third one. If you show respect to other people and their opinions, this will massively help you in managing any conflict. Because after all, every human deserves respect and when you don't respect someone, you automatically make them angry. It does not help you in managing the conflict. Now before we move on, I would like to point out that we have our own app that can help you with the CS security test. And if you want to download the app, you can find the link for it in the description down below. Make sure to download our app using the link in the description. Next question is, which of the following is most likely to lead to conflict? So the correct option is the second one. Poor communication skills are most likely to lead you to a conflict because a lot of conflicts occur due to poor communication or misunderstanding in communication. So if you want to avoid that, you should work on developing good communication skills because that will massively help you in dealing with conflicts and also avoiding them. Next question is, which of the following is the main requirement for employers with regard to the management of health and safety at work regulations, 1999? So the correct option is the last one. The main requirement for employers with regard to the management of health and safety at work regulations 1999 is that the employers must carry out risk assessments and if there are more than five employees they should also record significant findings this is a requirement according to the regulations of 1999 next question is if a conflict situation develops following a customer's refusal to follow a security operator's instructions what could this result in So the correct option is the third one, a loss of face. Meaning if for example, as a security operator, you give a person some instructions and the customer refuses to follow those instructions 
and immediately after that, they develop a conflict situation that this can result in a loss of face. Next question is, what should workplace violence policies and procedures include? So the correct option is the second one. Workplace violence policies and procedures, they should include details of the procedure to take following a violent incident. Meaning they should have clear guidance and clear details of what to do if a violent incident does occur in the workplace. Next question is, which of the following is most likely to trigger an angry response in someone? So the correct option is the second one. Feeling patronized is most likely to trigger an angry response in anyone. Because feeling patronized automatically makes a person angry. So you should try your best to avoid that. And make sure every person feels respected and his opinion is also listened to and respected. Next question is, which of the following is the final stage of the stages of escalation in conflict situations? So the correct option is the first one. The final stage for any conflict situation is violence. Next question is, what does the fight or flight response help you to do? So the correct option is the first one. The fight or flight response helps you respond quickly to any dangerous situation. Next question is, which of the following is an indication of the escalation of a conflict situation? So the correct option is the second one. Increased anxiety is a clear indication of the acceleration of any conflict situation. So if you feel that there is increased anxiety in the environment and in the people around you, they should try your best to avoid any conflicts. The next question is, which of the following is the best way for a security operative to communicate in a conflict situation involving a group of people? So the correct option is the first one. The best way for any security operative to communicate in any conflict situation involving a group of people or even a single person is by speaking clearly, calmly and politely to the person or the group that is involved. Next question is, how can the risk of violence and aggression towards security operatives be minimized? So the correct option is the last one. Using effective communication skills, the risk of violence and aggression towards security operatives can be minimized quite a bit. Which is why it is very important to have great communication skills and should work on your communication skills if you are not that good at them. Next question is, which of the following could stop a person becoming angry? So the correct option is the last one. Self-control is something that, that can stop any person from becoming angry. Next question is, if someone feels threatened or frustrated, what kind of behavior are they most likely to show? So the correct option is the last one. If someone feels threatened or frustrated for any reason, usually the behavior that they are most likely to show is anger or aggression. Next question is, what is involved in a dynamic risk assessment? So the correct option is the third one. In a dynamic risk assessment, we adjust our responses to meet the risk. Now those are all the questions for this video. If you have any confusion, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.